Uh, we all live in a Pokemon world, Pokemon. I want to be the greatest master of them all, the greatest master. We all live. Hey guys, how's it going? It's I, the real Randy Chavez, coming at you today with a Pokemon sales data video. Um, yeah, I've, I've got so many Patreon members, I, I need a second sheet. But it's not a waste of paper because I use that for scrap sheets. Um, today, I am going over a couple of things, a lot of underrated, a lot of overrated. Uh, and a lot of sales data to go over, just my general overall opinions and analysis on the market, where things are going, what I missed out on the other day, what I should have done um, to not miss out on those things. Uh, we have a Giovanni's Needle King. I did not know this was going up for sale. First edition PSA 10 is over $570. That is stupid undervalued. I know because I've sold one of mine for like $900. If, if, that, if anyone wants to sell me their Giovanni's Needle King first edition PSA 10 for $570, I'll, I'll buy how, however many you want. You have 10 of them? I'll buy all 10. Um, that is so undervalued. It's stupid. Uh, first edition Charizard PSA 9 for $42,300. Uh, this is probably going to be one of the last times you're going to be able to get it for that $40,000 price around there. Now, granted, after taxes and shipping and everything, probably paying 45 47 something like that. But, yeah, that's... um, And it would benefit... Now that my Trophy Kangaskhan paid off, it would greatly benefit me if that goes down to like thirty grand because I'll buy another one. I have a PG, I have a BGS nine and yeah, and, and two of those subgrades are nine point five. So, um, Shadowless Hitmonchan. Oh, I'm sorry, first edition. All of these are base set first edition PSA nine Hitmonchan, three thousand fifty eight dollars. Undervalued in my opinion because of this reason because it has a very 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 limited number of tens. Um, so the nines are I guess a little bit more, but also because Mewtwo. That was up to like nine thousand uh, dollar first edition PSA nine at some point, uh, and dropped down to like two thousand dollars, which is I, I don't know why you'd sell when it's down that low. I I, I should have again I was buying that trophy Kangaskhan, so yes I I got one of the rarest trophy cards in the in the world, but I missed out on a lot of dips. I missed out on being able to get base set for a Mew, a Mewtwo now PSA nine uh, five thousand seven hundred seventy eight dollars Gyarados. First edition PSA 9, $3,100. Raichu, uh, $3,056. Magneton, I, I get Magneton, Polyrath, they're not really like the uh, the ones that people are super excited about. But $1,525 for a first edition PSA 9 Magneton. Stupid undervalued. Blastoise, a little bit of a raise here. Got $9,102. Uh, however, this is about half of what they were going for, so this is still a great deal, in my opinion. Uh, then we had a Shadowless Alakazam. Um, I'm sorry, first edition PSA 9, $3,807. Needle King, again. Oh my god, so stupid low. $1,675. I, I should have got that. I, I didn't get in time for that. Uh, Chansey, I was available for, but that was $3,383. I knew I wasn't going to get that. Um, same thing with uh, Venusaur, sold for $7,000. Uh, Zapdos, $1,900. Would have been a great buy for me. Uh, Clefairy. $2,662. Uh, Ninetales, $2,702. Polyrath is the one that I was going for. Uh, I was going to try to get it for like $2,200. Sold for uh, $2,275. Actually, actually, I bid $2,250, so I was number two on that. Um, there is this guy in Australia that wants about like $2,200 for his. and His is a BGS9, and actually one of his... Uh, subgrades is 9.5, so that's that's what I want because I got a BGS9 Charizard and BGS9 Raichu. I would love to add to that, but I just and I could buy it with PayPal credit. I just I, I don't have a lot of money coming in right now, and um, if I do that, it's like oh man, how long am I gonna you know put put that much in debt for? You know, should I do it? Uh, I don't know. Probably should do it, man. I should do it. <laughs> I should do it. Uh, we have Dragonite. Uh, PSA 9, sold for, uh, first edition PSA 9, $890 from Fossil. And the rest of these are just going to be jumbled up. Uh, Steelix, first, all these are first edition, on the sale otherwise. Steelix PSA 10 from Neo Gen, 760 Sabrina's Gengar, PSA 8, sold for $448. The 9 is, is should be flirting with $1,000. And the 9 should probably be, probably like $1,000 to $1,200 by now. Um, because this... The, the nine was up to like six hundred dollars the other day, but if the the eight is going to get four hundred forty eight dollars, you know, for, let's say four let's say four fifty to round it up, 
you know, that's $900 for the PSA. Yeah, um, that's going to, this year is absolutely crazy because not only do we have the Pikachu Illustrator that's coming up on uh, Thursday that's going to start the auction, uh, one of the most important auctions in Pokemon history, at least PWCC anyway. And then we have, that ends on Pokemon Day. On Pokemon Day, we have that Logan Paul box opening, $38,000 a pack. Uh, and then we have, again, that's Pokemon Day. That's uh, going to be that concert, a headline by Post Malone. Also, uh, we do have a Nintendo um, a live stream announcement Thursday, uh, I believe. Yeah, Thursday during the day. And rumor has it that it's going to be a Let's Go Johto. Um, they're, they're probably going to do something for the Legend of Zelda 35th anniversary, but Let's Go Johto has been the rumor. Oh, a friend of mine, she uh, works for Pokemon. I asked, hey, can I have any hints? And she's like, oh, I don't know, something, something Johto. I was like, what? She's like, what? I was like, <laughs> so, um, good times with that. Uh, Lugia, BGS 8, $2,170. Dark Charizard, PSA 9, $2,025. Nice. That is a... These have been going for like twelve to 1500 and they should definitely be around where they are now at 2025 Maybe even a little higher. Because as that moves, uh, the Blaine's Charizard will move. Uh, Raichu uh, from a Rocket set. So Dark Raichu, PSA 9, for $610. Zapdos from Fossil, PSA 9, 460 uh, Misty's Tentacruel from Jim Heroes. This is always, this is always a cool card. Um, PSA 9, $209. Articuno from Fossil. PSA 9, 573 And we have an actual Gengar from uh, Fossil. PSA 9, so for six ten. dollars um, I, I, I think it's interesting when the Sabrina's Gengar, even though it came after the original Gengar, just sells for more. Just thought it was just thought it was interesting. Dark Dragonite uh, sold for 730 PSA 9. Uh, another Dark Dragon Eye, PSA 9, so for 960. It's broad spectrum. A lot, a lot of difference between those nines. Dark Vile Plume, PSA 9, so for 158. We have a Dark Hypno, PSA 9, so for 184. Dark Alakazam, PSA 9, so for 315. Oh, Erica's Light Drag. I'm sorry, Erica's Dragonair, PSA 9, 421. Oh, so close to 420, Blaze it! Uh, but yeah, 421. Uh, Blaine's Arcanine, PSA. Oh, that's an 8, so for 359. Nice, nice. Uh, so probably should be higher. <laughs> well, no, no. The the eights are properly rated because of where the nines are, and um, I think that will go up eventually if the ten starts to sell higher. But as of right now, the tens you probably get for three thousand um, dollars. I don't want to sell it for that. I, I have mine up there for four, and I don't want to sell it for four, so I should probably up it um, just because I don't want to sell for that price. I only have a few of them left. Um, but yeah, I, once, I, I think right now, in this next little bump that we're getting for the 25th anniversary with Logan Paul, with Katy Perry, with Post Malone, you're probably going to get, see a lot of traction with the sixes, sevens, and eights. Because the nines and tens are, are going to put people out of reach, so they're going to go, oh, I'll get a six, seven, or an eight. Because like, a lot of people, you can get a card that is really messed up, really banged up in the back, but... If it looks good in the front, that's really all some people care about. Nobody cares about, oh, a little bit of whitening. Like, you know, they, they don't care. Uh, Fossil Dragonite, PSA 9, for $1,101. Dark um, Gyarados, PSA 9, for $233. Um, that's it for today. Um, yeah, base set. That base set, first edition, PSA 9. Like, that's... It's still four figures that you have to pay for the hollows, but... I think the rares as well is something because the rares are just as rare as the hollows. They're just, um, you know, they're they're just uh, not as sought after. But I think the complete sets, and I think I think that's going to be a big one. Uh, not even in base, not even just in base set. We have, you know, we have a couple of those. And let's say Gym Challenge. You have Sabrina's Gengar. You have Giovanni's Needle Queen. Even Sabrina's Abra, just because of how rare it was. You know, as a common card, there's only like twelve of them, so people were paying like two hundred. Four hundred dollars for it. I paid that for mine when I had um, when I completed my gym challenge set. So anyway, guys, please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. I love you all. Goodbye. Meow.